sitting out here on one of our pieces of property and we've got the uh, redneck uh, big country uh, palace here uh, on our trailer set up. I wanted to do a quick little review on it. Uh, we've had this blind for uh, two months now and installed it uh, or had actually had redneck uh, blinds up there in Lamar, Missouri. Uh, installed the blind on the trailer for us um, and then uh, we got the jacks there uh, just from Walmart and got uh, installed those ourselves. Um, there are several ways uh, on those jacks you can go about that. Uh, a lot of a lot of hunters when they're using these trailers, they're actually welding a uh, just a normal uh, jack right through here, um, and then you know just to crank it up that way and work out. Uh, I actually elected to try this way. I've got four center blocks here, um, and then. What I end up doing is punching a, a bolt through this piece of wood, and then it, uh, I end up having to punch a hole right through here um, on the jack itself, and then that bolt just comes right through here, right through there, and that way that keeps that uh, jack from going back and forth. Um, if you're going to be using these blinds to really, uh, or really move those blinds, you know, back and forth from areas. I'd highly recommend probably just going with the uh, a welded jack stand. That way you can you know, crank that sucker up and then back down and then flip it out here and that, that should work out pretty good. Um, but we'll, uh, uh, I'll show you guys the inside of this. Um, it is six by seven, there's a lot of room. Uh, we have the uh, curtains installed um, as well and the awning all the way around. And uh, it, I uh, have been really impressed with this blind. Uh, before we uh, hop inside, I do want to uh, touch on a couple things that we uh, ended up doing. Um, when we actually got this blind, uh, what we found is when I was shutting and opening that door going in and out of there, it uh, continuously hit um, on that metal. And it didn't make that loud of a sound, but what we ended up doing is just putting a... Uh, a piece of styrofoam along that there and then you know going going in and out of there you know if you're not paying attention in either the you know in the morning or the afternoon or the evening you know coming out um, that way you're not alerting your deer you know uh, on that another thing is um, if this if this blind is slightly off angle um, you know level uh, you know this door will uh, shut on you so when I'm uh, if I've got my family or the cameraman with me uh, what I'm ended up doing is I actually always have this little stick here so I uh, just push this stick right through one of the holes here on the platform uh, that way it keeps that door um, you know from uh, swinging back and forth so that's just a couple oh and one more thing um, uh, when we uh, first got this um, their, their house uh, in the figuring out is on uh, different angles um, you know this ladder um, may not um, you know touch the ground so what we ended up doing was we put this uh, six by six and uh, or four by six whatever it is and then you know if you do come up uh, you're able to put that thing right in there um, on the ground and it keeps your la ladder level and that way you can make your way up there without any issues. So we'll uh, jump in the blind here and uh, show you guys what we think of it. So I'll show you guys several different views here. And this is the curtain combination you gotta buy separately, but it works out really well. And so you've got your open window, and then you've got your closed window, but with the camo uh, covering, and then this right here just velcros up at the top. So all these are just velcros, and it just works out really well. Um, and then to open these windows, You've got these latches down here, so you just uh, 
open all four of those. And then you got your pulley rope right up here. It's hooked onto that window. And then all you're doing is just pulling that up. And then you've got this area right here where you slide that in and then it just connects right there. So that works out really good. You know, it gives you a wide open uh, shot there. A lot of room in this blind. And I'll show you uh, uh, this side here. And this is where we were turkey hunting at this morning, or primarily. Uh, did see a few birds come by, but uh, they stayed out there on, along the other side of the creek. So, uh, but that's just hunting. Um, but on this blind, or sorry, this side, uh, see I've also got the black up above here. And what I, uh, on all four of these windows, there's not a good way that I found to actually be able to just keep your camouflage uh, on the window. So on that, on your black there, I just tuck, tuck those right there in that corner underneath your uh, styrofoam there. Um, and that just works out really good. It keeps it real tight. Um, but these, this blind, it also has some really nice uh, cup holders on all three of the main sides there. Um, I also purchased the the rifle uh, rest there. Had the crossbow this morning. And that was work out really good. And you got just some great uh, storage containers. And then on each side, you've got uh, two of these. And as an example, I use uh, I use my cross or use that as the rest for my crossbow, so it's a great spot to keep your uh, firearm uh, or crossbow. And then there's also a bow hanger. Uh, I haven't installed it yet, but I need to. Um, that uh, that they've got, and that should work out really well. It's got that swing swinging arm there. I need to get that up here hooked um, or uh, screwed in there, and then. Right here, you've actually got a, uh, a light. So it turns on green. Um, I believe it's a, uh, a battery comes with it. Uh, I believe it's a double A, and I think it's just a single, no, nope, sorry, two double A batteries there. Um, but that, uh, that light works pretty good. And then to show you uh, what we're sitting in, is we've got, a, we got two redneck chairs. Um, I'm going to say I could probably fit four or five redneck chairs in this particular blind uh, and do just fine. But um, I'm a little over, uh, well, I'm a little, sorry, a little under six foot, and I've got a lot of room um, still up here. Probably another, uh, oh, I'm going to say six to eight inches um, of height room so a person can stand up, you know, shoot through the windows and be good to go. And then on both sides of the door here, You've actually got uh, some coat hangers. So I've got my vest there. It's a little chilly this morning. Um, so went ahead and got that. And then also uh, I'll keep my horn hunter uh, with a binocular case. You know, it just works out get good. You've got room for two different um, coats or whatever you want to hang up there. And that uh, that works great. Show you guys the uh, uh, deck there. Um, you know, it's real. That's a real heavy duty. Everything on this blind is made very well. And then also on the floor. I mean, this floor is incredibly quiet. I'll show you what this is. You've actually got a carpet here, and then you've got uh, probably quarter inch uh, foam that underneath there. You guys can get um, from from Redneck, and that just works very well. So that's a. All I've got uh, review wise um, for this. So if you guys are looking to get any kind of blinds, um, definitely check out those redneck blinds because they are well worth the money and you'll, you'll have a great time in them.